Welcome to our lecture on line. Line integrals seem to be kind of mysterious, but actually we've all encountered some simple examples of one. And here's that simple example. Notice that if we multiply a force with a displacement, we calculate the work done. It turns out the work done is equal to the line integral from A to B of the magnitude of the force and the direction of the force dot with the dot product of the displacement and of course we integrate it along the path. If we have an example like this where the force is constant at least in magnitude and the direction is constant and the direction of travel or displacement is also constant then notice that f dot dl simply becomes the magnitude of f times the magnitude of dl times the cosine of the angle between the two because that's what the dot product gives you. And if f is a constant and the angle is a constant, they come out the integral sign, and then we simply integrate over the path traveled. And if it's a straight line, the integral from a to b of dl is simply going to be the distance traveled along the path, so it becomes f times d times the cosine of theta. So if we put some numbers to that, notice if we have the force equals to 10 newtons in the x direction, and the distance traveled 5 meters with an angle of 30 degrees relative to the horizontal, then notice that the integral of f dot dl, which is the work done, is equal to the magnitude of the force times the cosine of the angle between the two, the direction of the force, and the direction of travel, times the integral of dl, which is simply the length of the path if it's a straight line. So this becomes f times the cosine of theta times d, or f d times the cosine of theta. If f is 10 newtons, the magnitude of distance displacement is 50 meters, and, ooh, I think I have a a wrong dot there, and then we multiply times the cosine of 30 degrees, which is 0.866. Notice 10 times 50 is 500 times 0.866 is 433 newton meters or 433 joules. And so that's something most of us have probably encountered, and actually that is what we call a line integral. And there you go. They're not as mysterious as we thought.